Is it possible for a modern day marriage of convenience to end in true love? The Perfect Match puts a fun twist on a traditional romance novel and is the latest book by Kristen Higgins, a New York Times bestselling author as well as a two-time winner of the Romance Writers of America prestigious Rita Award. Welcome to Connecticut Styles. Nice to have you Thanks, here. Teresa. Um, we should mention that uh, you're from Connecticut. I we am. always love the Connecticut connection. Where are you mm -hmm. from? I'm from Durham, my hometown, and I live there still. Oh, very nice. And uh, when did you start writing? I started writing about 11 years ago. Um, my kids were little, and they took these wonderful monster naps in the afternoon, <laughs> and so I had a few hours of my own time. And rather than fold laundry or, you know, put the dishes away, I decided to try to write a romance novel. I I'd always that. read them, and uh, I thought I could give it a shot. Well, you're on your 11th one, right? So yes. it obviously is working out it's well working for out you. It's working out pretty well, yeah. Um, so The Perfect Match is the second book in the Blue Heron series. So explain yes. that to us. Uh, Blue Heron is the vineyard um, that the series is based around. It's set in the Finger Lakes region of New York. And it's a small family-run vineyard, kind of like Gouveia here in Connecticut. Oh, sure. Um, and uh, the heroine of this story is Honor Holland. Uh, she's the middle sister, and um, and it's about her attempts to find uh, find the right guy after her carefully laid plans go awry. Really, she had a plan that just didn't work out, huh? <laughs> exactly, like so many women, you know. I, I can relate. Um... Would you say she's based on anyone that you know, or did you just pull this character well, out of your head? I think she's like a lot of us women. You know, we, we put a lot into our career, education, and then all of a sudden, at age 35, she finds out that she's not really getting what she wants in terms of, of family and romance. So um, so she decides she has, she has to shift gears and, and kind of take a different route. Um, she tries online dating, and, um, and in the end, she... Uh, she meets someone through a family connection. It's, okay. it's sort of an arranged marriage, kind of a marriage of convenience. And she figures, what the heck, you know? Nothing, I'll, nothing else I've tried has worked out so far, so. So I guess we'll have to read the book to see what happens yeah, with her. Definitely. Uh, but one of the characters in the book is a boxer. And I understand you actually went to the gym and took boxing lessons yes. to kind of relate. Yes. Um, I, I wanted to learn a little bit about boxing. And at age 47, it really <laughs> wasn't on my bucket list of things to try. But um, I called up a local boxing gym, and they hooked me up with a trainer named Kyle Bennett. And he, um, he gave me a lesson. And uh -huh. I was pretty much looking for vocabulary and terms sure. and just get a feel. But he said, no, let's go through the lesson, and you can experience it. And I really loved it. You did? It, very oddly, you know, because I'm kind of a marshmallow type of person. And I, I found that I really enjoyed it. So I've been taking boxing lessons. You stuck with it. For about a year now, <laughs> yeah. Well, wow, Kristen. Tomorrow, we, actually. We, uh, we won't mess with you. <laughs> um, is this, you do a lot of research hands-on like that? I try to, whenever mm. possible. So um, I've researched things like um, a bakery, which was very fun. I went to Lyman Orchards for that and watched them make donuts and bread in oh, the that's morning. That's not so bad. Not so bad. <laughs> um, I got to ask you, what's it like being in the New York Times uh, bestselling list? You mentioned USA Today and also yeah. the Rita Award. It, it's very thrilling every time. Um, the first time I hit the list, uh, my agent sent me a copy and I printed it out and went running over to my mom. I said, Mom, look, look, I hit the New York Times. Oh, that's so, awesome. That well, congratulations. And uh, the book comes out today and I know yes. that you're donating uh, a portion of the first week sales. Yes, pre-orders and first week sales I'm donating to Fisher House Foundation, which is a wonderful organization that creates um, homes away from home for military families when they have a service member in the hospital. They're a friend yeah. of Connecticut get star they've yes. been here before uh, any other books in the works yep I've got another one coming out in the spring and and uh, another in the blue heron series and a fourth one in the fall oh how fabulous and do you have a website where we can learn a little bit yeah, more about you I do Kristen Higgins.com all right the name of the book again is the perfect match and uh, it is available just about everywhere I would assume that's right everywhere very good well thank you so much for sharing the book with us and good luck with everything thank you all right coming up next and we'll show you a healthy Halloween snack you can make with your kids when style returns we'll be right back